Hey guys, welcome to Cerebellum's PYQ 90 second series and today we're going to discuss a very common case that's asked in exams regularly. You have a 30 year old female presenting with complaints of palpitations to the emergency and her vitals are apparently stable except for the pulse rate which is 150 beats per minute and the ECG is shown below. What the ECG is showing? It's showing a regular narrow complex tachycardia, that's it. So what is going to be the next step? In exam, most of the time they're going to ask the therapy rather than the diagnosis itself. So let us follow a stepwise protocol. Step 1. See whether the patient is having a pulse or not. If the patient is having a pulse, proceed to step 2. If the patient is not having a pulse, deem the situation as cardiac arrest and proceed to CPR. So our patient is having a pulse, proceed to step 2. Step 2, you are going to look at the stability of the patient. The most important sign of stability is a normal BP. If the SBP is more than 90, stable. Less than 90, unstable. If the patient is unstable, proceed to synchronous DC cardioversion. Our patient is stable, so proceed to step 3. In the step 3, you are going to see the QRS width. If it's a wide complex tachycardia, cures width of more than 0.12 seconds, you're going to start with antithymic drug infusions like amiodarone, sotalol, or procainamide. If the patient is having a narrow complex tachycardia, if it's a regular rhythm, you're going to start with the adenosine or probably even before that vagal manovers. If the patient is having an irregular narrow complex tachycardia, then you're going to proceed with beta blockers or calcium channel blockers. Our patient is having a regular, stable, narrow complex tachycardia. So my answer will be either vagal manovers or if it's not given the option, I'm going to choose adenosine. The right answer for this question is option A. Thank you.